Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. The videos have been thick and fast. I shaved my head today. I actually feel better since I shaved my head. I'm looking in the mirror and I don't look about 65, which is quite nice, even though I look like some old bald codger. But anyway, the shave is going to consist of this stuff today. Scotch, Scotch, Scots Pine Sheep. Now this is Sterling's, I would sort of say there, Mitchell's Wool Fat. It has mutton sallow and lanolin in it. Now I used it for my head shave and I have to say I was extremely impressed. In fact, so much so, I think this is far superior to the mainstream beef tallow formula, which mainly all of the scents hold. I'm scratching to figure out why they don't use it or have it in more sense. There must be a reason, but it's one of the better soap bases I've used, believe it or not. And this has been around for a while, this soap base. So what I've got here is I've been soaking it. Whoosh, the water's hot today. I haven't soaked my brush in it. Pop a bit of water on, and I'm gonna grab this water. So I've got, like I said, I've got it soaking here right next to me. It's only been soaking for a few minutes, not even a few minutes, probably. Only a minute. Now the scent on it, there isn't really much. It's a really light scent. It's supposed to be pine with a touch of oak moss, but I don't really get, I get a clean scent from it. I can't really smell it too much at the moment. My brush was soaking in here. Here is my brush. The brush for today isn't a brush at all. It's just a knot. <laughs> this is a 26 millimeter Fanturian. And this is the knot that was inside my That Darn Rob brush. That you can see on the bottom there. 26 Ti HMW High Mountain White. Now, the reason I'm using it, I'm gonna use it a few more times after this, maybe off camera, I don't know. It's not the easiest thing to lather with, but I just want to make sure the knot is going to hold together because I think I'm going to re-knot this into a handle. It's a really nice knot. I just took it out because I wanted a rhodium into that TDA, that, that, that rod brush. Now, I did use the steam method, placed it in a pot of boiling water, let the steam spin around the top of it. Find a video on YouTube for it. It's not as easy as just chucking your brush in boiling water, but I'll just start loading while I'm talking. When the knot came out, it lost... It lost a fair few hairs in the beginning. Like I don't know, maybe 10, 20 hairs came loose and fell out straight after the procedure, <laughs> the surgical procedure of the brush. And I just stuck the stuck the knot in a drawer and forgot about it. So I pulled it back out. And hey presto, managed to do a head shave with it. Or a head lather with it, and I never lost a single hair. Now it's quite scritchy and scratchy feeling when it's dry. If you use this knot when it's dry, so all, all the tips are generally, nearly every tip on this knot has split and hooked. Now it doesn't gel like a gel tip knot, but you can see that it's got that potential. And this is still a relatively unused knot, it's not been used too much. I mean, I am, crazily enough, I was the third owner of this brush. Yeah, the scent is just a clean, light, soapy scent. It's quite a fatty scent, I know that. It's hard to describe the scent of fat. It's not like a disgusting chip fat fat. So there is the load in the knot. I'm just going to set the knot to the side. Now it's a little bit difficult to, to work with. I'm just going to wet my face again. So this is a no prep shave. I had my shower this morning, or well, here this morning, prior to my head shave. So I'm just going to scoop out this excess from the sample. Now Sterling samples are very very generous and these were sent to me all the, all my sterling samples were sent to me from peter over at the artisan the artisan arcade artisanarcade.com based in australia they are sterling's sole distributor of soaps in australia lovely bloke well packaged great postage and all that sort of thing um and yeah so here we go I am really looking forward to this because if I get a shave with this, like I did on my head, I'm in for a treat. And you're about to see now, you don't need a flash handle on or not <laughs> to get a great lather, I can assure you. Just going to dip the brush in the water.
So it was my daughter's first training shift yesterday at Macca's, McDonald's. She was pretty scared and anxious. And, but once she got in there and got stuck in, she enjoyed it. She got a uniform, which in comparison to the uniforms I got when I was a kid, looks brilliant. Cracking pair of jeans, sort of designer looking jeans. The shirts are quite nice. I mean, let's face it, it would be pretty shit if it wasn't. <laughs> but yeah, the main reason is that we're sort of heading out of this COVID-19 thing. We're slowly coming out of lockdown. Sporting clubs are starting back up. Gyms are going to be allowed to open. Swimming pools will be opening soon. I think swimming pools open this week, actually. Maybe next week. with you guys but it's a pretty stellar ladder I it feels different to the other sterling soaps the, the beef tallow formula that they use and the, the mainstay scents and soaps but I have to say the thing that won me over with it I mean look how much soap's in that no. the thing that won me over with this stuff really I mean, look how dense it is was the post shave. The post shave was absolutely, it, it is brilliant. I actually shaved this morning, shaved my head and then I left the house and I was so impressed with the post shave I videoed it when I came home, not the post shave, but I did another little add on to my head shave and spoke about it because it was, it was quite significant. I've just realised I was going to put some menthol drops on here so whoever I said I was going to do it for I was going to do it. Yep, typical memory. One of the wife's hairs. Right, the car of Christopher Bradley Razor, stainless steel with the B plate and a numerous use Gillette Super Stainless Spoiler. So you can see there that lathers. It's, it's heavier, it's more dense, it's creamier. Whether it'll make the shave any better, I don't know, but let's find out. Yeah, it's a better soap base. It's really slick. It's a very light scent. I did do a bit of reading on this, not so much reading, but I went to the Sterling website. And there was some real mixed bag reviews on it. Mainly surfacing around the scent, believe it or not. And it was out there. I love the scent. It's brilliant, or it's absolutely feral. Surprisingly enough, not many people talked about the, the fact that this is a better quality soap. In comparison to Sterling's other soap base, the Beef Tarot soap base, I think it's far superior. In almost every department other than scent. This scent is just far too light, it's like a 1 out of 10. But really, it's the, it's the performance that, that you really want on this soap base. so well. It feels lovely on the face. It's actually got quite a bit of scrub, this knot.
really good stuff. I, I, <clears throat> I'm so surprised I didn't pick it up before being a, a Scots pine sheep. But to be honest, I don't know whether it was this sort of Kent shaving soap that was always in the back of my mind. That's lanolin and, and and mutton tallow and I'm like, is that? Brilliant. It's not as easy to lather with a knot. It really isn't. It's a lot easier with a brush handle. But you can do it. If it's all you've got, <laughs> you can just use a knot. It does work. Or if you've got a knot, or a few knots that you want to try before you put them in a handle, just use them. You know, they might not you might not get the perfect experience out of it or the perfect performance from it. But I sure as hell would rather use a brush knot like this than get to putting it in a handle and then finding out you don't like it. That would just be madness. The razor's performing perfectly. The soap's really helping. I'm really looking forward to the post shave on it, or the inst yeah, sort of the instant post shave, because I will be adding a balm or my syrup. Oh, that water's roasting today. Yeah, it just leaves that that layer, that sort of layer that you get from Mitchell's low fat, and you know the, the, the quality artisans out there at the moment. And I'm not saying. The Sterling isn't a quality artisan, I'm not saying that at all. They do make very, very good quality soaps. I'm just going to pull that out of the knot. Finish around the lips. Got a few little weepers on my neck, I'm not worried about that. Brilliant. Yeah, I've got two or three weepers under there, but they're not major, and they'll pretty much go away when I splash it with some cold water, which should be freezing cold, hopefully. Brush out, please clean the knot out, not the brush, the knot. I will say one thing, it's a lot easier just cleaning a knot out than it is cleaning the brush. If I throw a knot and a brush handle for some reason, I don't know why. I can get really deep into the knot and get rid of it. It's 
certainly with these knobs. Now these are mass produced, I believe. Oh, that's nice and clean there. This part of the knot here, the, the glue bump as it's known, this part here. On this, it is rock hard. Like, people say be careful not to get soap down in there, it will soften up or ruin it over time. As long as you let your brush air out, it shouldn't really affect that. that I mean, that's rock hard plastic, it feels like. Right, let's give it a good whack on the tail. Nothing, not a single hair loss from it. It's got quite a big bloom on it. It'll be a little bit smaller once you put it in the handle, of course. But it's a very, very nice knot. 26 millimeter high mountain white Fanturian knot. A Fanturian, is it Fanturian if it's high mountain white? I think that must be the same hair type. Oh. Oh, the, the pull shave, just the instant pull shave, the pull shave right after the shave is absolutely wonderful. It is far superior to Sterling's standard beef tallow range in my opinion. I think it's great. I think it's really moisturised. My skin feels nice. There's no tightness or anything. Got no irritation or redness. I've got a couple of little weepers but they're pretty much healed. But overall, between my head and my face, I've had two fantastic shaves that I've been really, really happy with. Now I am going to finish off with the usual. AP Reserve Essentials Restoration Peptide Concentrate Serum. You'll have to bear with me with all the noise. My daughter's dancing in the background. There's bloody movie on this bloody nightmare. So here we go, a little squirt of that. One squirt, wet hands. Beautiful scent. Nice passion fruit scent. That. I've had two really, really nice shaves today and they've really perked me up a bit to be honest. I've been down in the dumps the last couple of weeks really struggling and slowly getting to it, speak to psychologists and stuff and sometimes just the simple things in life, a shave, can really brighten your day. I've just way off the label but Scott's Pine Sheep from Sterling. I don't think it's got the full ingredients list on there, it doesn't, but it's got tallow, lanolin and shea butter. But it is mutton tallow. The lanolin comes from the sheep's wool, the process of the oils from the sheep wool and sheep. But I mean, honestly, it's it's so nice. Those little weepers, they'll, they'll finish off. But I just know my skin's going to feel incredible for the next, until I shave again, to be honest with you. Even my head it just feels brilliant. It's lovely and soft and, and moisturised. And there's no post shave on my head today, but I've just went with the post shave of the soap and it's brilliant. The brush, you've already seen the brush. The razor was the car Christopher Bradley razor in stainless with the B plate, which is 0.73 blade gap and a Gillette Super Stainless, the spoiler blade, which has done several shaves. And I finished off today with AP Reserve Essentials Restoration Peptide Concentrate Serum. It's a 30ml bottle. It's going a long way. I'm quite happy with it. And at 50 bucks, to be honest, for something, if I was getting real great skin, which I do using this, I, I would pay 50 bucks every six to eight weeks. No, 68, 6 to 8 weeks. I think if you're paying roughly 20, 25 bucks a month to get a brilliant post shave, I don't think that's too much to ask for really. And it really does, it does help my skin. I mean, that's, that's brilliant. Wow. I don't much more I can say. This stuff has been available for a long time. I've never tried it. If you're a massive fan of Sterling and you've never tried that Scots Pine, you really need to grab some and just see the difference in the base. And to be honest with you, I'm very surprised that Mandy and Rod, or Rod and Mandy, haven't started using that in different scents and different formulations because that that is a real top tier performing soap and competes with the best as far as I'm concerned. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.